Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Little Radiator by Sound Toys. Let's get into it. Okay, so what Little Radiator is, is this hardware emulator preamp distortion thing that works on everything. It is like seasoning salt of distortion. Just throw it in and it'll make it better. Maybe just regular salt is a better analogy. Anyway, um, I'm going to play a clip of this track I'm working on uh, in Logic, but you can do this in FL Studio or Ableton, whatever DAW you're working with. A little radiator will fit right in. Okay, so that's just a little clip. If this song is already released, it'll be in the description. It's not out yet at the time of recording. First things first, let's take a look at this 808 where I've got this little radiator going. It's a stock 808 in Alchemy here in Logic. I'll turn the distortion off and play it. So I'll turn it back on. And this is pretty much what we're going for on this track. Uh, a little bit more modern, definitely gritty. So let's go over the selections here that we can use. First off, there's this noise selector. This just adds some nice noise. If you're just using this on a vocal or something, maybe that would be okay. But for me, I'm using this across my production, so I don't want a ton of extra noise, especially on the more crisp, modern stuff I'm doing. Bias is a selector that essentially switches between like a brand new piece of hardware and like an old beat up piece of hardware for some pieces of hardware like distortion the older it is the more worn out it gets the different like tones that it will produce so turning bias on makes things grittier makes things a little bit more unpredictable turning bias off makes things clean and warm better for like vocals bias maybe for more experimental stuff i like to have it off then you got this heat and this mix uh, first off, this mix is just a dry wet knob. And then the heat, which is just essentially the gain going into this distortion. Um, setting it to zero right in the middle, you'll still get some distortion characteristics. And then the more you turn it up, the crazier it gets. I'll open up a new addition just so we can mess around with it. And I'll just put this 808 loop go in there. Okay, so now we've got this fresh addition here. It's a nice hit. And then just uh, dry wet to taste. You can also slam it if you wanted to. And then just turn that uh, dry wet way down. Um, most of this is going to be to taste. You can do really subtle things on vocals. I'll switch to vocals real quick. I have this right before my Abbey Road saturator. Right in the middle of my stack. She really want more. She really want me and it's nothing new, yeah. All right, let's turn it off. She really want more. She really want me and it's nothing new, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not your fault. Off. She want me and she over you, yeah. And yeah. on. I got this pushed pretty hard, but the... Uh, the wet dry pulled back to about 45%. And this is great. Like it adds extra grit to vocals, which is super important. Not a lot of people talk about it, especially when you're first starting out, but like having saturation, having light distortion on your vocals um, is super critical to getting most good tones that people want because the, the natural human voice is great, but to really get all those characteristics out, you have to do some artificial things like adding distortion so you can hear some of the tones that kind of get lost in a mix otherwise. This really helps things push through. That's another place you can use it. Um, I also use it on the drums. I've got this side chained. Um, I could have used the wet dry, but I'd rather just be able to control this a little bit more since it's the drums and that's really important to me. It sounds like this. And then if I take that distortion off, Just a little, lose a little bit of that presence. There's with it back on, right in your face. Um, I think I also use it on this vocal chop here. I 
And I have it maxed out and kind of pulled back to the drier side of things. I think that's kind of one of the things I like to do, I guess. Max out the distortion and make it a little bit more dry. Here's with it on and off. So again, not really doing too much, but adding presence that is super critical to this mix and most mixes. Uh, this is a really great tool to have in your toolbox. And right now it's free, depending on when you're watching this. I think it goes on sale at the beginning of January. So um, if you're watching this when this video drops, then go grab this for free from Sound Toys. Any questions, anything I missed, any concerns, let me know in the comments. Catch you on the next one.